Well then, to discuss uh, the issue of Cameron, we are joined by UKIP activist Elizabeth Jones over the phone. Uh, Elizabeth, was Cameron's endeavours a losing battle from the first place? I mean, he surely wasn't expecting it to end possibly this way. So how will he react? Well, I think that he will probably react with um, uh, quite... Uh, probably He'll probably be quite depressed. He's been publicly humiliated, publicly thwarted. It's been made clear to him... Uh, that um, his plans and the uh, spin that he's been giving the, electoral, uh, the electorate in the UK that EU c is subject to reform and change is completely untrue. We are one of the biggest payers into the EU. We are a net contributor. Basically, we pay in more than we get out. You'd have thought that we would have some sway, but it appears that we have no sway at all, and I'm sure Ang uh, Angela Merkel will win. And President Juncker will become the president, as I'm sure he all more or less already is. It's just um, a tokenistic gesture. And uh, Cameron will be humiliated. Right. I mean, uh, after humiliation comes a possible reaction. Uh, he has warned of consequences. What does he mean? I have no idea what he means because I can't see what on earth he can possibly do. He can't possibly reform the EU. Uh, he isn't going to leave the EU. He is committed to being in the EU. Uh, we have this vague offer of uh, a referendum in 2017. I can't imagine that he would be bringing it forward at all. I think it's completely empty sabre-rattling. Okay, so Labour have come out and criticised Cameron, saying that he has allowed the EU to unite against Britain. Now, why is this worrying? I don't find it worrying at all. In fi I find it entirely predictable. I am from UKIP. We want to have immediate withdrawal from the EU. I don't think the, that Europe is ganging up against Britain. Uh, originally, he did have allies with um, Sweden and Italy. I think his only ally now is Hungary. I, don't think it, I think probably privately many would agree with uh, Cameron's stance with Juncker. I don't think it's a question of ganging up. And so what? We're not in the euro. We're, we are a very eurosceptic nation. So what? Business as usual, if they're going to gang up on us, perhaps they'd like to see us go and wave goodbye to us. But I don't think they want to say goodbye to our annual membership fee. OK, they're brilliant. Uh, Elizabeth Jones, UKIP activist, thank you very much for your time. Now, still to come on the bulletin. Secrets of perfect football penalty revealed after the break.